All right, so then the goal here of this workshop is really to get you um, through the process of understanding how we have um, a lesson template out throughout the web. Um, how, um, so the lesson template looks like this. Sorry for the washed out color on this thing. Um, but it's basically we're using GitHub pages and a Jekyll template, and you write the lessons in Markdown. So, um, just by a show of hands, who here is familiar with Markdown and has written Markdown before? Yay, this will be easy. Um, you'll all be super excited about how you can make pretty lessons like this. If you haven't done Markdown before, it's a little bit like, cool. But basically what's going on here is we have kind of a canonical style repository on GitHub that we're all going to make a copy of to our local GitHub account. Um, should you choose to if you want to do the hands-on component of this. We're going to make a copy of that to our GitHub account, um, and then we're going to clone that repository locally. We're going to run a little Python script that dumps a couple of files in place that would cause um, merge conflicts if we um, had them upstream, because you're going to be changing these. These are things that have metadata about who wrote the lesson, um, what the, the actual content of the lesson is. So we try and keep the styles repository so that as changes are made upstream, you can merge those changes in to your local copy of the lesson, get the new features, get the different styling. Um, so it's a, a kind of an imperfect solution because it requires this clone down. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go um, back to the GitHub web interface. If you're comfortable using Git on the command line, you can just edit things, add, um, add commit, add commit in the command line. But I want to show you that you can do most of this at the GitHub web interface as well, because um, we're trying to kind of lower the barrier to entry for lesson contribution. And then there's some new things. Arnira can talk about a little bit that he's added to the lesson. Like, for example, right down here, there's a little edit button, and there's an edit button in front of this page at the top that immediately drop you into um, a GitHub editor where you can actually edit and make a fork of any lesson you see online. So you're getting some of this infrastructure if you create a lesson and start telling people to make comments or make contributions to it, there's all these things kind of wired in that make your life easy. Um, so we'll go through that. So who here has an idea for a lesson they'd like to, to create already? Have you guys played around with this kind of stuff before? Yeah? yeah. Okay. I've got a lesson. Mm -hmm. I maybe I'd like to put it more in, in, into a SW kind of thing. Okay. Cool. Easy. So we'll go. But so then, um, the prerequisites here are basic understanding of Git and GitHub. Um, it would be helpful, but it's not required. If you need to Git, find a friend. So if you haven't done much Git, um, sit next to somebody who has. Um, you need Python and Git on your local machine just for this one little Python script. Um, if you look at the source of it, it's super simple. It doesn't even need to be a Python script, but it is. Um, and then a text editor. We actually, I'll skip the text editor part. We'll just use the GitHub web interface to edit things. Or if you want to use a, a text editor. Um, so this is what I already talked about a little bit. I got ahead of myself. Um, but GitHub Pages is, um, I think by a show of hands earlier, everybody's used it. Who hasn't used GitHub Pages? Raise your hand, perhaps. So everyone knows GitHub Pages. Good. Um, we're using GitHub Pages with Jekyll. So Jekyll will be doing some of the mechanics in the background. Um, what that means is sometimes you can screw up your markdown and you get an email from GitHub and your page doesn't render properly. Um, so if you guys have done GitHub pages before, maybe you've experienced that failure mode. You don't always get the exact um, error message of what's going on, but we'll talk through some of that. Um, and then we have custom styles that um, we're going to learn how to apply. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to this web page, um, HTTP software carpentry .github.io lesson example, and this is going to be our our launching off point uh, for everything. I'll put this back up so you can put that in. Um, this is where all the documentation of how to do exactly what we're doing in this workshop is. If you try to go do it again on your own, um, there's step by steps in here. Um, and I thought I'd walk you through the process during this little workshop. So I should have brought sticky notes. I didn't bring sticky notes. I did bring a monkey. Did you bring your kangaroo? No? It's the usual. Oh, oh, it's it's no. yeah. I have a monkey. I think I'm actually recording in here, so the monkey can sit over here. Um, but the monkey travels with me as a pedagogical. Do you have a pet as well? No, I don't think I've got some sticky notes. 
He has an Instagram, by the way, Moby the Monkey. If you're interested in a monkey who travels a lot, he has a world travel monkey. Yes, yeah, so I wanted to ask that if you follow the life of the Catholic the religion path, and like things can work or like you think that something is very not, does uh, this make an issue in trying to improve the, uh, yeah, the contributing experience? So we want to know uh, how we can help people better. In this case, we have the suggestion from Cash, but we want people to be involved in the So, what we're going to do with this is we're going to open this up um, and here um, it basically introduces us here and it says, um, please see the setup instructions if you'd like to create um, a copy of this at your location. So, we're going to click the setup instructions and this is. Um, recently improved for your benefit. Before, the first step in this process was install Jekyll on your local machine. Um, and you don't actually have to do that because GitHub has Jekyll installed. And so you actually don't need to, to go through that process. So um, we're going to go kind of step by step through this. It's using an example of a data cleanup as the new lesson name. And it's using an example of some user tin column ch. Um, it's going to be your username. It's going to be your chosen lesson name. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the GitHub importer. So go ahead in another tab, go to your GitHub account. And then in the upper right hand corner of the screen, there's this plus, and there's import repository here. And so why aren't we doing a fork? If you do a fork with GitHub, GitHub connects those repositories together. And it sort of expects that there's a linkage between them and you might be filing pull requests and things back and forth with them. We really don't want a fork here. What we actually want is a new copy. With GitHub, if you fork something, you can only fork it once. So if you have five lessons you'd like to create, you'd have to make a copy five times of this particular styles repository and then kind of diverge. So this is really just a way to get the set of styles and Jekyll templates into our repo. So what we're going to do is this importer. This importer is just going to copy the canonical um, repository, which is at https colon slash slash github.com. And it's at the SW Carpentry. And it's styles. And then with the importer here, we get, I can make this with the importer here, we can name this whatever we want. Right? So we're making a copy of the styles. We name it whatever lesson we want to call it. So let's call it, um, I'm going to call it a new lesson um, two because I have a new lesson one already. Um, you can call it, if it's something, you know, that you are, you know, and you want to make something about doctor or sage math or something, name the lesson um, something appropriate for you. So. It does. Is there a lesson template? The lesson template is the old, and oh, it says when you go to it, it says it's depreciated. So this is what what this actually is is this is a consistent set of styles we use across Carpentry's pages, including our actual web page. Um, and so it, it's a. So this is the one that you did. Yeah. And it, if you go to the old one, I believe, Renere, can you tell me if you go to the old one, it actually um, it, it tells you to go to this one, right? To go to the, the lesson template. I think it's deprecated. So the lesson template is deprecated. Did this happen in the past one year? No, it happened in the last six months. So. So this is how we're doing it now. It actually makes merging upstream changes much easier, which is part of why we did it. Um, so we'll go ahead and say begin import. It takes a little bit of while to do the import. Um, once the import's done, we'll have a 
my case, I'll have a room for all the time you lost too. It's going to have a couple things in it. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to clone that down to our local machine. Um, so we'll go to a command 